Hi, and thank you for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We are starting a brand new week, but we're continuing on in the book of Matthew. Now, during the month of March, we've been looking through this particular book, the first of the four Gospels, to really get a good view of who Jesus is, what he lived for, what he stood for, and what his death on the cross really meant for us today. It has been an exciting time yes. learning more. So the first week we kind of talked about the background, his early years here on earth. Then last week we talked about the words of Jesus, mm -hmm. different commands that he gave. Um, it's been a powerful, challenging time. But this week we want to focus on his miracles. Now there are over 30 recorded miracles in the Bible of amazing things that Jesus did while he walked on this earth. And we can only imagine that he did many, many more. Mm -hmm just weren't recorded and he continues to do miracles today but if you take those 30 plus miracles you can really break them up broadly into roughly seven categories of different types of miracles and so we thought it would be cool to highlight one of those categories each day now the first five all happen in Matthew That's conveniently right. <laughs> but two of the categories aren't recorded in Matthew but other gospels so we're saving those for Saturday and we'll give you those references so you can read them on your own that's right. And so today we're going to focus on Matthew chapter 14, mm -hmm. where Jesus feeds the 5,000. So we're going to start reading in verse 15 of chapter 14 of Matthew. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, this is a remote place and it's already getting late. Mm -hmm. Send the crowds away so they can go to villages and buy themselves some food. Now this is Jesus. He's teaching, yeah. and now he's now the disciples are like, whoa! Like they're thinking practically. <laughs> People are getting hungry. People are getting hungry. Maybe they're getting hangry. Yeah, that's right. I I can get a little hangry. I can get hangry too. Well, yeah, 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 we can. We can. All right. So this is and then this is how Jesus replies. He yeah. says, "They do not need to go away. Mm. You give them something to eat." I love that. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish. They answered, "Bring them here to me," he mm. said, and he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves of the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to, to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken wow. pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate were about 5,000 men besides women besides. and children. <laughs> Women yeah. and children. I mean, there were thousands. And one thing that I want to highlight here Jesus' compassion and care for other people. Yeah. See, right before right before he fed the 5,000, mm -hmm. his dear cousin, friend, John the Baptist, died. Yeah. He was actually beheaded by Herod. And, and we talked about John the Baptist and how he performed Jesus' baptism just That's a week right. or so ago. Yeah. And so we, we see here, right before this, mm -hmm. his dear friend passes away. So he's obviously going through grief, going through yeah. some pain. And yet he sees people and mm -hmm. says, I care about you. And he had compassion on them and said, don't, don't go. He easily could have been like listening to his disciples and said, yeah, just go away. Yeah. But he's like, yeah. no, I want to take care wow. of you. And I want us to have that be an encouragement today because the Bible says that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So today he knows your struggles. He knows yeah. your grief and he has compassion and wants to be there for you. Yeah, the thing that stands out to me the most in that miracle is that part that you highlighted as well, that Jesus said, don't turn them away, have them come to me. Mm -hmm. I think there's so many times in life as believers where we go to God, we go to Jesus, we, we speak with the Holy Spirit about certain needs, but then there's other things that we think, but I'll take care of that. God, Jesus here represented, yeah. he meets all of our needs. That's right. He was feeding them spiritually through his teachings. But when they had a physical need, they thought, oh, we're going to have to go somewhere else. No. And he said, bring him to me. Mm -hmm. So whatever your needs are today, That's bring right. them to the father, the father of compassion. That's right. That loves you and cares about you. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in today. We look forward to sharing another miracle with you tomorrow right. and another daily dose for, for spiritual, spiritual growth. growth.